Do you all recall what Michio Kaku mentioned last year, when early galaxies first appeared in images from the web? Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. <laughs> well, that's the issue at hand. The Webb Telescope is shaking things up. Suddenly, we find ourselves in a position where we might need to rewrite all the textbooks regarding the origins of the universe. Creating a galaxy like the Milky Way, which contains a hundred billion stars and is many billions of years old, takes an immense amount of time. However, the Webb Telescope has detected six galaxies that formed just half a billion years after the Big Bang, which are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way. This is unexpected. It should not be possible to have primordial galaxies that are larger than the Milky Way, yet only half a billion years old. Something seems off. We may need to revise our understanding of how the universe was created. At this juncture, I don't think anyone anticipates anything less than groundbreaking findings from the Webb Telescope. These are thrilling times. We are in an era that will witness a significant shift in our understanding of cosmology. Every giant was once a small entity, even if you have never witnessed them during that phase of growth. NASA's most advanced telescope is illuminating the early years of the universe's history, which was previously beyond our understanding. In June 2022, the Webb Telescope uncovered numerous distant galaxies when it captured its initial deep field image. Out of the void of time and space, galaxies began to materialize, unveiling their existence. For the first time, the universe started to appear much stranger than we had ever imagined. Galaxies surfaced from what we consider the universe's dark ages, casting doubt on our understanding of cosmic science. And it wasn't just a few galaxies. The Webb Telescope detected hundreds of them. Among these was a galaxy discovered by Austin astronomer Stephen Finkelstein, who affectionately named it Maisie's Galaxy, after his daughter, as they found it on her birthday. At first, Finkelstein and his team believed the galaxy had formed almost immediately after the Big Bang on a cosmic timeline, estimating its age to be around 290 million years post-Big Bang. However, with more advanced technology, they later concluded that it is about 100 million years older. <laughs> Regardless, this finding still confirms its position as the oldest galaxy ever observed, having formed just 390 million years after the Big Bang. However, the current champion for the oldest known galaxy may not retain that title for long. The Sears team is currently examining around 10 additional galaxies that might outdate Maisie's galaxy. We are witnessing the rise of massive galaxies at a rate quicker than we ever expected remarked Fabio Bacucci from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Some of these early galaxies are estimated to be merely tens of millions of years old. This influx of massive galaxies could have consequences for the large dark matter structures known as halos, which, according to our cosmology, sculpted the early galaxies. Nevertheless, challenges remain, as certain candidate galaxies from the early universe are proving difficult and may question established theories. 
An interesting case is a group of galaxies discovered by researchers at the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. They found galaxies with billions of solar masses that rival the mass of the Milky Way, dating back to around 750 million years after the Big Bang. Astonishingly, these galaxies are 10 to 100 times larger than those that had been observed from that period and are densely clustered into structures that are 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. The fascination deepens as these galaxies seem to contain a significantly higher number of stars than previously thought possible. This discovery undermines the fundamental principles of our comprehension of the evolution of massive structures over time and directly challenges the traditional cosmological standard model. In addition to locating more distant galaxies, the Webb telescope recently identified Milky Way-like galaxies at the universe's farthest edges, which seems to contradict our understanding of physics, since these galaxies should not theoretically exist. Many of the early galaxies that have been identified were dominated by brilliant gas, so luminous that it could surpass the brightness of the stars forming within them. These new findings illuminate the commonality of such glowing, gaseous young galaxies when the universe was only 2 billion years old out of its 13.8 billion year history. Observations reveal that nearly 90% of these galaxies displayed intense emission features, indicating the presence of this radiant gas. During the investigation of these early galaxies, astronomers unexpectedly found the most distant example of a galaxy similar to our own Milky Way. Indeed, when the universe was just 2 billion years old, the newly discovered spiral galaxy, Ceres 2112, appears to have exhibited a central bar composed of stars and gas. Yet one might question how this could be possible. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a spiral galaxy featuring a similar bar structure. Scientists suggest that the bar within the Milky Way rotates in a cylindrical fashion, directing gas toward the central region of the galaxy and initiating periods of star formation. Historically, astronomers believed that this galactic form marked the end of a galaxy's developmental phase, assuming it could only be seen in more mature galaxies, possibly those that are midway through the universe's evolution. Earlier observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope which concentrated on the structures of galaxies, led scientists to believe that there were very few barred galaxies in the early universe. However, our comprehension of the early universe is evolving. Recent discoveries based on data from the Webb telescope contradict the belief that barred spirals could only have appeared recently in the cosmos. The detection of spiral galaxies, such as Ceres 2112, suggests that galaxies similar to our own already existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was just 15% of its current age. Indeed, Ceres 2112 is viewed at a redshift of 3, indicating that the light from this galaxy took almost 12 billion years to reach the Webb telescope. This finding is unexpected, as galactic bars observed in the galaxy were thought to have developed around 4 billion years after the universe came into being. The standard model of cosmology anticipates that the early universe's physical conditions should have impeded the establishment of such barred galaxies overall. Yet, we are presented with evidence that challenges these anticipations. Even the theoretical predictions arising from cosmological simulations find it difficult to recreate such systems during those time periods. This brings up the vital question of what key physical element in our models may be lacking. If only something were actually missing, stated one of the scientists involved in the discovery. Now, for an interesting development, researchers suggest that 85% of the universe's total matter is dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that is difficult to observe because it does not interact with light. Dark matter is thought to have had a significant role in galaxy development and star formation as early as 380,000 years following the Big Bang. However, the results from this new discovery imply that galaxy development, at least in the case of Ceres 2112, was mainly driven by ordinary matter rather than dark matter, when the universe was roughly 2 billion years old. 
In fact, this is a notable find, confirming that the evolution of this galaxy was largely shaped by baryons, the common matter that makes up you, me, and everything visible, as opposed to dark matter, despite its widespread presence. Thanks for watching. Please do share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.